بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اکرا حفیظ این یو واچنگ دیسی ٹی وی یو ایس اے لیٹس ہیو اے لک ایٹ دا نیوز ماسک ویرنگ کمیوٹرس کراؤڈڈ سب وے ٹرینز ان بیجنگ اینڈ شہنگائی ایس چائناز ٹو بگیسٹ سٹیز کم کلوز ٹو لیو وتھ کووڈ اینڈ ملینز آف پیپل انفیکٹیڈ ود دا لارجلی انچیکڈ وائرس اکراس دا کنٹری Russian President Vladimir Putin says he is ready for talks after the Russian military bombarded several Ukrainian towns on Christmas Day. While the United States, adopting a traditional stance, rejected Putin's offer as drama. According to the news agency Reuters, Ukraine's high military command says that Russia launched more than 10 rocket attacks in the Kyopensink region of Kharkiv on Sunday. Millions of citizens have been left stranded in the cold due to heavy snowstorm on the eve of Christmas in the United States. While the number of people who have died in various incidents due to this weather has increased to 32. In western New York, the situation has become so bad due to the blizzard that rescue workers are unable to reach the affected areas. New York Governor Kathy Hochul said, It looks like a war zone and the car on the streets are amazing. Russian Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Novak has said that natural gas can be supplied to Pakistan and Afghanistan for a long time. In an interview given to the official Russian news agency TASS, he said that they are ready to supply gas to the West through the Yamal Europe gas pipeline, while also supplying gas to Pakistan and Afghanistan for a long period of time. China has announced the end of a quarantine for people coming from abroad despite the increase in corona cases in the country. According to the foreign media, the statement issued by the National Health Commission of China has said that quarantine restrictions for people coming from abroad will be lifted from January 8th. A few months ago, China reduced the quarantine period for arrivals from abroad to one week from three weeks. Mandatory quarantine restrictions for overseas travelers were imposed in March 2020. Death toll rises to 13 in various accidents during rains and floods in the Philippines. According to the foreign news agency, the authorities said that most of the deaths were due to drowning in the relay due to heavy rains. Rescue officials have started searching for 23 missing people in the affected areas. Officials say that more than 45,000 people are forced to take shelter in evacuation centers. According to the media reports, the southern part of the Philippines is facing a flood situation due to rains. <music> Chairman Pakistan Tehreek Insaf Imran Khan has claimed that there has been a 52% increase in the month of terrorist incidents in the country. While eight months ago, terrorism had practically ended and the country was economically stable. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan said this while addressing the high-level meeting of the party held under his chairmanship. In the meeting, the decision to leave the assemblies was retreated with full consensus. <music> Floor crisis intensified in Punjab. The price of wheat per month in the open market reached 4,550 rupees. A 20 kg bag of flour has become rare across the province. The official rate of 20 kg flour is fixed at Rs. 12.95, while in the open market a bag of 20 kg flour is being sold in black. According to the media reports, crisis situation has arisen due to shortage of flour in different areas of Pakistan. According to the market sources, an increase of Rs. 1,500 was seen on a 100 kg sack of flour in the upper areas of Pakistan. after which it started selling at 12000 rupees per sack that's all for now for more updates keep watching desi tv usa or visit our website desi tv usa.com